Hi everybody, welcome back to DayZ on PC. And in this video, I wanted to do a little guide about how to use and what you can do with the Zombie admin tools for PC. Now, in the description below the video, I'll put uh, links to a couple of videos I've done that show you how to install Zombie admin tools and CF on a local server and on your um, private community online server as well. Now, Zombie admin tools aren't as powerful as um, some others that are out there but they're very simple and in my experience I've just found they work a lot of the time and they don't seem to cause too many server issues um, so that's why I, I like using them um, so without further ado let's kind of dive in so once you've got them all installed and you've added your steam ID to the um, config files if we press O we can bring up the Zombery uh, menu and on the left hand side so this would be all the people who are on the server um, and you click on the ones you, that you want to kind of use the tools on. Now there's only me, so there I am. So the first thing I always do, I always toggle God, so I become invincible so I don't actually accidentally kill myself, and then I toggle uh, time, day. And then after a few seconds, that will then change the server time, and we'll be able to see what we can do. Um, you can set night, you can set the exact time, you can set the date, um, you can set the weather, so if you wanted to... Yeah, do a video where the weather was raining you can set that as well um, now let's talk about moving around the map next so free cam is probably the you know the, the coolest thing so double click on free cam press escape and then we can use Q to go up E to go down we can look around with our mouse and we press WASD to move around and as you roll your mouse button or your mouse wheel forward you can speed up if you press um, shift while you're um, moving it will go faster as well and you can zoom around the map fly around the map and if you haven't done this before it's a pretty cool thing and then the other thing you can do is whilst you're flying around when you're in free cam mode your character isn't flying around it's just just a view your characters you've left them where they were so if we press o to go back into zomberry we can now say teleport target to cursor so we can double click on that and then you'll see there's our fella there on top of the building so if we press O and then we go uh, double click on free cam again free cam is now off and here we are on top of the building so you can t um, get some nice videos from unusual viewpoints um, and uh, remember that with with Daisy you can go into the menu and basically you can uh, turn everything off can't you basically so then you can take some very nice um, screenshots do some very nice videos in deed so so let's go back to this now you can teleport 10 meters forward teleport target to me you can heal yourself um, so if your character becomes ill now this doesn't always work especially with things that like when you become poisoned or you've got something like um, wound uh, infection um, but you know you just kill yourself and then start again now refuel and repair this is a pretty cool thing so let's just um, jump down to here yeah dunk would have broken my legs wouldn't I normally so let's come over here what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring up our let's put all this stuff back on okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to spawn in a car. So if we press O and we go to the spawn menu, it'll be on safe. And let's just find a, I don't know, what should we, Ada. Hatchback, where's the Ada? Off-road hatchback white. Now, you'll see at the bottom we have the options of cursor, inventory, or ground. We can't put car in our inventory. We could put it on the ground next to us, but cursor is normally a good option. So let's double click on Ada, uh, and that's just the trunk. <laughs> Where was the Ada? Let's go searching for it again. Uh, hatchback. Off road hatchback white. There it is. But as you can see, it's no good to anybody, it's missing all the bits. So if we bring up Zombie again and we go refuel and repair, double click, we've got a nice Ada to uh, to drive around the map. Now, we don't have to drive around a map because if we press O, you'll see the map comes up and you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out, click and hold to move around, and then if you 
and do alt click alt left click your character is teleported there nice and easy now it's important to understand that when you're in free cam mode so you're flying around for example if you now choose to bring up the map and say go to Krasnostav like so you'll be going well wait a minute I'm still here up in the air what's going on well your character has actually teleported to Krasnostav so if we bring up Zombri and end the free cam you'll see here we are at Krasnostav as well like that now spawning stuff in is really good because it can be good for content creation good for practicing good for content good for testing Daisy as well so let's press O and let's go into the spawn menu um, and if we click on AI we could uh, spawn in for example a bear there we go there's a bear how lovely is that let's let him be um, and then we could spawn in something like if we click on AI there's a zombie there we go or we could spawn in if you do a search for survival and we'll do it um, on the ground next to us there's a survivor so they'll just like you could use them as target practice in fact let's just uh, let's just look at stuff you can so if you change this to inventory we could search for say Alice bag there we go and as you can see we've now got a bag you can do that with weapons so anything you know in the game you can basically any items you can you can spawn it in and, and have it on yourself as well now you remember I said how zombie uh, admin tools aren't perfect well where they're not very perfect at all is if you're trying to spawn in buildings and things like that so so let me show you Let, let's kind of get away from these baddies and let's come over here so let's say for example you wanted to spawn in a uh, something like a helicopter crash so we bring up zombie we go to spawn and we're gonna have to click on the safe to bring up the expert mode and so let's bring up the the mill uh, ooh helicopter will we be able to see that one hmm. let's bring up the UH one that's probably better UH right rec UH one so now if we change that to a cursor and bring it in what you'll see is that often stuff spawns in under the ground like that so not particularly great let's see if it does the same with the uh, wreck let's bring in a tractor yeah see how they spawn in with the ground so not brilliant but if you want to do that sort of thing you could always use daisy editor that's very good for spawning in things and moving them around but not one of Zombri's, um strong points however if we go back to spawn menu go back to normal and do something like say uh, barrel uh, let's spawn it in next to us Ooh, that's spawned in lovely and jubbly on the ground isn't it and let's say we go to something like um, party tent so that's spawned in nicely we could then put this tent up lovely jubbly so hopefully you've seen you've got some nice little powerful tools within Zombri. What we haven't really talked about is the things in red. Because what you can do is if there's other survivors on your um, server, these are the admin tools that kind of affect them. Um, so you can kill players, just, just select the survivor you want to, kill them. You could uh, make see that they've got a bite. You can strip all their clothes off them. You can make them vomit. You can induce laughter induce sneezing set their health and set their blood now remember with great power comes great responsibility so don't go abusing your admin tools your admin's rights by, by by going around with people unless they're you know up for a joke or something like that 
But there we go, that's using Zombri Admin. Uh, it's nice and easy. Uh, again, it, it's worth it just for the free cam, I think. Um, and as I say, it may not be the most powerful uh, set of admin tools out there, but it's one of the easiest to install, the, one of the easiest to keep running. Um, and it kind of does most of the things that, that I like to do uh, on my servers at the moment. Anyway, so there we go. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.